Hi there, Simon from SimonWoods.com. Today's wine is illegible. I mean, well, we'll have a look at the label. New Vin von Ursprung Muscadel uh, from the New Vine Kilder. Um, and anyway, it's a South African red Muscadel made, um, I, well, the, the cellar was established in 1963 at the foot of the Langeberg mountain range that flanks Worcester. So slightly inland, quite away in from uh, from the coast, maybe about uh, 200 kilometres, maybe a little bit more. Um, but um, made in that style where they uh, don't they, they do a, 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 they crush the grapes, don't let fermentation go all that far before they whack a load of brandy in to fortify it. So fortify up to 16.5% alcohol. Let's see how it turns out. Bright barley sugar. Um, it smells. Uh, it's got this heady. Um, rosehip syrup character about it, and rosehip syrup, syrup and barley sugar. It smells like it's going to be quite syrupy and sweet, but it's still got this grapey freshness and uh, light, um, uh, yeah, and there's a light fragrant lift about it. It's interesting, I was reading on the back, uh, back of the bottle, they have great potential for ageing in bottle. Um, well, I mean, I'm, I'll take their word for it. I've, I, I've had old muscats and uh, they've been some of the best old wines I've ever had. But what I like about it is now it's got this perfumed lift and uh, I think the ageing would um, bring other characters to the fore, but maybe you'd lose a little bit of that. But anyway, let's try it now. I don't know where that characteristic of cough candy is coming from there, but um, uh, those strange, almost square, pillow-like sweets with a sugar, sugary coating, that cough candy. Um, there's a, a, um, it's a herbal clove-like menthol character coming in there um, and there's the muscat character which is giving this grapey barley sugar um, lift. I find it a fascinating wine. I'm not sure I know what to do with it. I, I think it would be a good sipping with the, the Christmas pudding. I think it would be pretty good with Christmas pudding, although we are currently about six months away from Christmas so maybe it's the wrong time of the year to suggest that. But. I find it intriguing. One of those wines I want to keep coming back to and going, hmm, hmm. And it's a, a very attractive price, from what I remember. Uh, so um, if you want something intriguing, and um, I, I, what I'd like to do, do with it is, is have, uh, have some preserved fruit with some ice cream and pour a little dollop of that on top and have a glass of it on the side. Hmm, that sounds good. Maybe I'll go and see if I can find a willing person to prepare that for me. I will see you soon.